boarding. Good morning. Um, I'm already on the road actually. I got up not I mean not that early, but I left the hostel for nine. So I've got lots and lots of stops today and quite a longish drive. So I'm going all the way to Wanaka today, which is about three and a half hours, I think, driving. But um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen stops on the way. Just to, some of them like this is just like a literally a viewpoint. Just to get out and stretch my legs, go to the toilet. Um, but yeah, so I will show you pretty views and waterfalls. Why am I so tired? I had a coffee. I could actually have a little nap. <laughs> I can't, but, uh, mm, but yeah, yeah, I just update you. It's a bit, just a bit of a driving day today. Um, it was pouring when I left. Oh gosh! When I left Fox Glacier, but as I've been driving, the sun's come out, so that's good. Let's go out and see the view. It was a nice view. It was lit. There was nothing particularly special. Um, so there's this map here at the at the viewpoint. This is pretty much what I'm doing. Um, so I'm here. I'm stopping at Ship Creek and then opposite there's like a little half an hour walk that I might do. Um, then I'm coming down here, Boring Billy, Dander Creek, Fantail, but I've got a few more in there as well that I'm going to be doing. Um, then Blue Pools and then going on to Wanaka. So yeah, let's go. Um, I forgot to say there's an update on the Toffee Pop situation. So I've got chocolate brownie toffee pops. They are good. They're very good. It's too early at the moment. Well, is it? Is it ever too early for a biscuit? I'll show you. Just for the sake of the uh, video, I will show you what it's like inside. So it's like a it tastes like a brownie it's like a dark chocolate biscuit rather than and it's quite hard rather than like a soft shortbread with like a nice caramel mm. Mm, 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 mm. delightful that next little stop it was only a few minutes up the road but on a beach I'm gonna climb up this tower. Let's go. Good ladder to climb. Ooh. Oh, that's Ooh, lovely. I think I'm gonna do a walk through here, up this path in a minute. It goes over the road through. Through all these, my nails are getting worse and worse. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, look, and it's just a beach. There's another little half an hour walk around there, but I'm okay for that. The other one's only 20 minutes. Oh, it says 20 minutes. It'll probably be about 10 the way I walk, but ah, nice. Well, there goes the idea of doing that walk. <laughs> The entire boardwalk is underwater. I was thinking, goodness me, this river's high. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, the whole, entire boardwalk is underwater. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Off I go, back on the road again. I don't really know where I am. I'm in the cut. There's no sign for, for anything. I'm literally parked and going up this somewhat looking path. But I can hear it already. There's a waterfall here. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I 
I meant the next one. Roaring Billies. Uh, Roaring Billy. Roaring, Roaring Billy Falls. Um, oh, I've written 40 minutes, but on the sign behind me it says 25. I'll take it. Saving more time. But, yeah. Okay. Let's get going. So I'm coming up shortly to Roaring Billy. I can hear it, so I can't be too far away. Um, I feel like I'm making good time. I know there's been a few things I haven't been able to do, but I don't know. Hoping to get into Wanaka for about five o'clock. Oh wow, okay, so Roaring Billy, you actually like, go down onto the riverbed um, and walk across. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's annoying those people are in it. They could only move. On to the next waterfall. This one is uh, Thunder Creek. 28 meters high. It's only a five minute walk. You can see it from here. It's a very cool one. There we are. It's a pretty cool one. You can get right on down by the... Uh, right on down by the river to see this one. It's pretty cool. Nice little walk. On to the next one. And now, on to Fantail Falls. It's only a two minute walk. <laughs> I think I'm about to see it very, very shortly. <laughs> Crikey. There's a shed load of people down here. There it is. There we are. I'm smashing through my lists of things to do. And I think I actually am gonna potentially make quite good time. Um, all I've got left to do now is past pass lookout or past pass, pass something. And blue pools, and then head into Monica and check in. So, yes, I've done everything a lot quicker than I thought I was going to. Okay. So now I'm doing the half pass lookout. So it's half an hour there, half an hour back. Um, I didn't realise that it's just all uphill the whole way there. So it's going to be fun. Never mind. It'll be nice, I'm sure. It really is very steep and uphill. <laughs> I just didn't really realise, but it's like a very short walk, less than a mile. It's just all uphill. Um, I'm pretty much right now right on the border between West Coast and Otago. Right. Literally, I, as I'm walking around this path, I'm going over it. So, oh, that sun is hot. It's lovely weather. But it's very hot. I so nearly didn't put my water in my bag. I just have to do everything so quick and it just dies me out. Oh God. I don't think you can see how steep that is but it is.
people in front of me on this walk and they've gone the whole hog they're, they're behind me they're still going i'm all right thanks but yeah not a bad view to get back down. Oh yeah, I'll show you the size. See we go. It's two up. I hate going down. Well, it's weird, it feels like I've been gone been on this trip for ages. So I think today's only day four. Um, and I don't get back until day 12. So I'm only a third of the way through. Yeah. yeah. Tonight, I'm in a four bedroom again. Um, mixed this time. And I think potentially the hostel is fully booked so there's definitely going to be unless anyone cancels last minute going to be four of us in the room but hey we'll see how it goes hopefully i can i mean check-in's from two and i think it's about half one now so i'm not going to be first to check in but hopefully i don't get too bad of a bed And to be honest, I'm kind of half considering, um, call me crazy, um, doing Roy's Peak for sunrise. There was some two girls at the hostel um, that I was talking to and they did it and they said, it was, if the weather's good, definitely do it which means I'm going to have to go to bed really early tonight. But hey, I'll see. I need to check what the weather might be doing and figure it out. Um, yeah, they were really nice, the girls I was chatting to last night. Um, they were English. And I was like, oh, where about you from? They were like, do you know Salisbury? I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> they said it was such like, do you know where Salisbury is? I was like, well, funnily enough. <laughs> um, and I said New Milton, they didn't know. And I said Lemington, they were like, oh, yeah, we know Lemington. <laughs> so, yeah, they were really nice. Though. I've uh, got to Leopold's. I kind of sat in the car and did nothing for a while. My punishment is it's not raining. Um, never mind. I think it's just going to be a passing shower and by the looks and I'm hoping it's mostly in the trees path so once I get to the trees hopefully I'll be okay. The girls I was chatting to yesterday were encouraging me to go for a swim so I've got my swim costume on. They said it's very cold but good to do. I don't know, I just need to get down into the trees and I think it's about a mile walk. I'll oh, catch you in a while. The good news is, where it's raining, everyone's leaving. <laughs> so like, I've had loads of people walk back past me, I haven't seen anyone walking in my direction at all. So everybody's like, oh, it's raining, back to the car. And um, so hopefully it'll be quite quiet when I get there. Because the car park was pretty full. Oh, look, another suspension bridge. <laughs> See the view from this one. Well, there's another one over there. <laughs> Look how clear the water is. Crazy. So I've made it down here. There's the water looks insane. There's so many people up there. I will go back up and show you. 
the view when I get a chance. But it's so pretty. If I do swim, I'm gonna have to do it quickly because there are flies all over me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go show you the view from the bridge. See the view from the bridge, especially now the sun's out. That will be the quickest in and out and a look in pain, I'm sure. But it was cold, all right? But see how easy it is for me to get into water when it's clear. I don't care how cold it is, I'll get in. But just the fact that it was clear made all the difference. But hey, that was chilly, but refreshing. I think I've been bitten to smithereens <laughs> and there's probably still loads currently in my leggings biting me right now but what can we do I just threw my clothes back on over my wet swimming costume there's definitely still some in my leggings get myself back to the car and get changed but I did it okay so now it's just, I think, about an hour's drive to a hostel. And then, yeah, that's it. Then find stuff to do in Monica. Good m early, early morning to you all. I always had the plan to climb Rory's Peak. However, that plan has now changed into climbing Rory's Peak for sunrise. Um, so yeah, I am here at half two, three in the morning, ready to rumble. And I'm not the only one. There's about 10 other cars here, at least I'd say. So, gonna get going um probably won't be able to vlog very much on the way up because one i'll be knackered and two i won't have any light i've got my head torch but yeah but we'll see see what see what see what i can do but yeah oh i've had a coffee and it's cold and i will speak to you at some point in a bit <laughs>
can't believe I did it. And I did it in time for the sun to rise. Oh. It's so cold now, my fingers feel like they're about to fall off. But the sun's warmth is nice. Now it's getting higher. You can't really see them now because they've gone. A mum and two lambs. Oh look, here we go. Get. Oh gosh, I'm heading back down now. I'm just gonna try and just take it nice and slow. There's no point in rushing. Apart from my hands are freezing, so I think I have to wait till I'm a bit further down to, to vlog. But and my battery, the cold air is draining my phone battery but I did it I got there with a couple of minutes to spare I didn't stop at the viewpoint I'm gonna do that now there's probably gonna be a bit of a queue now but now the sun's up I'll go do that boys peak done that is a hundred percent the biggest mountain I've ever climbed oh dear. right I'm putting you away because my fingers are about to fall off Oh my god. Oh, you can't see them now. Hold on. The <laughs> sheep are following me down the hill. <laughs> They're probably like coming down. Do I just stop and let them pass rather than... <laughs> I don't know what to do. Maybe I think I'm just going to wait here because this bit's nice and wide. They're going to go quicker than me. <laughs> stop now i think they're worried about me look go on just go i'm not gonna do anything look, i'll go over it i'm not standing here all day but you're not gonna be able to get past me anywhere else i'm gonna literally i walk past so many cows and sheep on the way here and on the way up here and i can hear them all mooing and barring i don't think the camera will pick it up what can i do i'm not standing here all day they're just going to have to go slow behind me then. Your choice. Right now, I'm sorry. I don't know if you can see. This girl here. She's running. She is running. Running. People have got issues. Running. Nah. <laughs> Nah, how, how is anyone fit enough to run up a mountain? <sighs> Jesus, the view is just getting lovelier and lovelier. Really nice, nice day today. What a day to pick to do it. I'm a bit bored because I'm going so slow and I want to go fast but my knees hurt I just I just don't want to, I, don't, I just want to try and minimise the blisters you know um, however I've got two hours until I have to check out of my accommodation um, I mean I'll make it I'm probably, I'm probably only about halfway down actually. But I can go when it's flat like this, but it's flat. I can go quicker when it's flat, but it's just when it's steep, my knees hurt. You can't even see the top anymore, the clouds up there. As I walked past me just now and was like, about half an hour to the top, isn't it? Or to the viewpoint. I didn't have the heart to tell him. I was like, um, might be a little bit more than that. But yeah. Oh well, I'll we'll figure it out. Oh, this is 
Where I'm at. <laughs> you hear the sheep? I'm going into cloud. I'm about to be into in the clouds. The top, the tops all covered in cloud. <sighs> yeah, probably about halfway. I need to pick up the pace a little bit to be honest. Oh, you can just about see the car park. Car park here. That's where I'm going. I'm back into sheep and pretend. I can't remember if there's cows in this bit or if that's in the next bit. It wasn't fun on the way up in the dark. All of a sudden there just being a cow in the middle of the path. Um, but yeah, never mind. She's just overtaken me. So in the time I've managed to get halfway down, she's run up and nearly back down again. <laughs> That's insane. I mean, I don't know if she went all the way to the top top or just to the viewpoint or... I mean, if you're that dedicated, you'd go to the top, wouldn't you? I don't know how much you can hear me, but I made it to the bottom. Oh, I reckon I'll be sunburned on my face, to be honest. It's so hot. Um, I'm so glad I did it for sunrise because it's so hot now already and it's nine o'clock. Um, I've got a rush back to my done much to be honest <laughs> had a bit of a five minute nap in the car sorted my car out went and saw the tree did i film that i don't even know i've been awake for about 18 hours and i'm not that tired now that five minute literally five minutes it was no more than five minute nap woke me up um and then I just went and had a couple of beers and did some shopping for dinner. That's it really. But yeah, I'm back at my, the hostel now. This is the nicest hostel I've ever stayed in. Like, look at this lounge room. It's got like surround sound. That's the kitchen through there, it's really nice. Somebody left a bottle of red wine behind so she said I could have it. Lovely. Um. Yeah, there's like a CD player and I was about to put some music on and yeah, it's so cosy and lovely. And everything is so well organised and labelled. Each room has their own drawer, shelf, fridge shelf, fridge door shelf. And then also like the kitchens, everything's organised. 
labels and it's just so nice it's really warm in here i love it really nice but yeah i'm not really gonna do much i'm gonna cook chicken wraps for dinner so i have it's been a bit of a boring day but i've been tired so what are you gonna do <laughs>